Have you ever observed a hospital surrounding carefully? You know how many mixed emotions, mixed vibes hit you at the same time. You stand there like you came to a very strange place where you don't know anyone. But you connect. You relate with every person's situation in a moment. You know, I visited a hospital today and the impact that place left on my mind is like I'm filled, I'm, I'm, I'm filled with different emotions. I think a hospital alone shows what war is. So when I entered there, there was this emergency ward where a father calling the emergency for her daughter who cut her vein, maybe he refused to listen when she was in emotional pain. Walking a little more, I saw this weeping mother tries to understand but her son doesn't want her to. Maybe he doesn't believe she can comprehend the pain he goes through. He never gets to sleep for he cries all night. And the doctors don't know what it is or what's wrong with this boy's sight. The disconsolated cancer patient seeing himself so sick and wondering why, why he is God's pick. Even amidst all the devastation, he never stops praying. You'll get better soon, is what everyone keeps on saying. Happy family, successful operations, preventing ceremonies of cremations. Stillborn kids being born. Parents wailing as their life falls apart. Broken into pieces is now their heart. You know, there was this old man's wife on the ventilator. And the pain on her face hurts him in a heartbreaking way. He wishes he could ask God to wash all her pain away. Every time he thinks about letting his wife go, the old man mind convinces him to say no. One hospital, two emotions, a newborn and a life gone. There were people standing like this, like literally this. Some in front of God, some in front of doctor, some in happiness, so some in sorrow, like they both are same at that same time for them. A little girl father fading away, still here for a while, and a few more days. She wishes, she wishes if he just go and feel no more pain. But in a way, she wants him to stay and say, my little daughter, it will be okay. Even I prayed that the doctor come and say you are okay. There were doctors giving families hope, telling them not to give in to fear. For the truth, they might not be able to hear. At the end of the day, however much fear we may, times may just go grey.